so here's uh, part two. Kalto tanking heroic Draxaron keep. And we are about to kill King Dread. Who, this was really the only fight that I was kind of worried about because it's really. Uh, your healer really needs to be on it in order to do this fight because he does a move that'll. Uh, that'll hit the. It'll hit the tank, it's Grievous Bite or something. It makes it so that unless the tank is fully healed, he takes bleeding damage. And then he does another debuff that makes you take 50% more bleeding damage. And it can like potentially kill you if your tank isn't if your healer isn't keeping the tank topped off. And also periodically the he spawns adds, which kinda sucks. So, uh, and then he'll also do a move where he'll fear the entire raid, which you can see he was about to do it there, but once the screen starts shaking, he's going to do it, so as soon as I saw it shaking, I did a Lichborn, that way I'm immune to fear and I can just keep tanking, because I'm good like that. Um, yeah, you can see there he is, he feared us again, so, while we had ads popping up hitting everybody, or at least hitting me, because I'm still, even while being feared, I can keep aggro. I know, I'm crazy. But anyway, uh, this is basically that. That was the whole fight right there. Is basically on that one, you need to keep healer, keep your tank topped off, make sure you kill the adds, and kill the boss. That's pretty much it. That is King Dread. There's an achievement you can get if you manage to kill five of those raptors while you're still fighting him, you get the achievement for. Or you get the achievement. That's what the achievement's for. So now you've got this whole group of people, which these guys are fighting themselves. You can see they're already at half health, so just pull them and kill them. That's always fun stuff. Fighting shit when it's already almost dead makes your light, makes your job way easier. And here's some more. Then. You can see they're already almost dead. So just burn them down. It's not that hard. Did I mention it's my birthday today? Yay. You guys know how old I am? I'm fucking 20. Holy crap. I feel so old. I'm 20. That's crazy. I'm 20 and I'm playing World of Warcraft. And Paper Mario and posting videos on YouTube. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> yeah, those guys don't move because they're shamans or whatever, so I drop my Death and Decay on them that way, and then run toward them that way, I still keep aggro. Little, It's little shit like that that makes you a good tank, is just knowing what to do. Yeah. Yeah, see, the easiest way, I think, and I see a lot of tanks fuck this up, too. That's why nobody likes Death, uh, Death Knight tanks, is because half the time they don't know what they're doing. The easiest thing to do is to pull... Okay, this is my rotation. My rotation is Icy Touch, Death and Decay, Plague Strike, Pestilence, Howling Blast, Repeat. And then, by then, all of your crap is already burned down, and you do that. And then, when it pops up, do... Uh, Rune strike, that way you keep a uh, threat on whatever it is you're fighting. But that's my rotation. Is um, You do Icy Touch so that you pull aggro, and as everything's running to you, drop your Death and Decay. That way, by the time it gets to you, your Death and Decay has like a full effect. I see a lot of people, a lot of Death, uh, a lot of death Knight tanks, what they'll do is they'll drop Death and Decay on the rate, on whatever it is they're fighting, and then they'll run over to, they'll run over to the mob, and the mob will like meet them halfway because death and decay aggroed and then now they're not even standing in the death and decay and they can't hold aggro and everybody dies so the easiest thing to do is to do your icy touch so everything runs to you and then once everything is at you drop your death and decay you keep aggro really easy as you can see which i do so that's that's a lesson for death knight tanks in the future You've been educated. 
Oh yeah, that thing dropped a race guard, waste guard of the Risen Knight, and the Heladin needed on it. It's BOE, and he needed on it. He's like, it's for my taint set. I'm like, you're an asshole. <laughs> so here I'm explaining. This is the last boss of Jet Theron Keep. Is uh, uh, he's gonna switch it out so that you guys have phases and um. Essentially, the only one getting hit should be the taint, so everyone just needs to use the 4 button. Uh, use 3 and 4, that puts up a bone shield, and then 4 will heal you. But every time he changes like this, it's an aggro reset. And if you don't give your taint a second to pick, uh, pick the boss up, everybody's going to die. I can't really do it here, because while we're being switched through phases, these guys have, the hunter has his pet, and the two warlocks have their uh, fell guards on him and they can both take a hit or two, so they kind of, but while I'm waiting to pick up aggro, they kind of tank him for me, so, but yeah, you don't want to use uh, the two button because that's a taunt, you basically just want to use uh, three and four and one, one is like your normal attack, also you can see he drops green shit periodically, move out of it. You wouldn't believe how many times I've seen people wipe because he drops the green shit and they just stand there and die. Like fucking retards. But anyway, this is... That's the whole fight. Is you just It's really, really easy. It's almost impossible to wipe on unless you completely fail at the, at the face switch thing. But that's it. That was... That's the whole fight. That's the boss. That's Drat Theron Keep. Done in like 25 minutes. So... I'll catch you guys later. Peace.